that is standing in your way, whatever mountain that is standing and saying, I will not move, I declare to you today that that mountain shall be brought down, it shall be brought to a plain in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today that as God has led you here this afternoon, that He is the one that is going to deliver you from your issues, from your circumstance, from your problem, from your situation. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for each and every person gathered here this afternoon. Lord, that you will do what no man can do in their life. Lord, that you will turn their situation around. Lord, whatever is missing, broken, lacking among them, Lord, Lord, I pray and I declare that what is, whatever it is, God, uh, you will fulfill it in their lives in the name Thank of you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. As I make those declarations, as I decree those things over your life, you have to agree. You have to say amen and receive it. Hallelujah. Because as I speak, as I speak as a representative of God in your lives, hallelujah. Glory to God. Those of you that are here, I just want you to share the link. So I'm going to start in two minutes time. I'm going to share the link in the group. Amen. And those of you that have your testimony, please come forward and let's do that quickly before we start amen today it's friday and i want to wrap up this teaching because it's the last day amen of our fast it's the last day that we are dealing with our smell glory to god another thing i want you people of god to help me with if you're not hearing me clearly please let me know amen because because I want you all to uh, be able to hear everything that I'm saying. Is that okay? Amen. 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 Glory amen. to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So those of you that are here, please share the link. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm going to uh, ask uh, Miss um, um, Rogers to open us up in prayer this afternoon. By the way, I want to commend you on the wonderful job. Well done this morning at 3 a.m. prayer. You did a marvelous job. There was persons that commented and said, hmm, it sounded like she was like you, but just she didn't prophesy. I said, yes amen those that are coming that are around me they must be able to do something they must be able to you know speak and 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 say and and, and move forward into that next level of their life so i want to thank you miss rogers also my strong admin that is she's always there with me always <laughs> you're always total to with me so i thank you for being a vital part of prophet uh, crystal prophetic uh, ministry amen prophetess crystal ministry glory to god thank yeah. you for in there and i believe that as you continue to bless my life god is going to continue to bless you and open doors for you as he has already been doing amen 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 Hallelujah. thank you so much glory to god so, so go right ahead and open us up in prayer praise god hallelujah father oh god as we come for your throne once again almighty god Lord, our final day, oh God, of our three-day prayer and fast, Father, we thank you, God, that you have given us, oh God, the strength, oh God, Father, we thank you this afternoon, this evening, almighty God, wherever, oh God, whoever is listening to us, oh God, around the world, we thank you, Father, we thank you, oh God, for bringing us back, oh God, this part of almighty God, Father, to have another, yeah. oh that session, oh God, in your brain, Father, we praise God. Yes, oh God. Thank you, God, for the strength that you have given unto her. My God, the knowledge, the wisdom that you have given unto her, God. That she, oh God, hand it down, oh God, to us. Father, we pray that you your blood, Almighty God. Cover her with your Almighty God. We pray that God, my God, prophetess will decrease, that you, God, will increase in this hour, Almighty God. We pray Hallelujah. that you, oh God, in a mighty way, this Almighty yes, God. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
songs of your voice. God, they are going to be blessed. And they are going to receive. They are going to be healed. Oh, God, I want God. God, I pray for us today, Almighty God. She, oh God, download what you have placed into her, oh God, to us. We pray, God, that we would not take it lightly, Almighty God. That we, God, going to nurture us in the mighty name of Jesus. Be, oh God, receptive today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every distracting spirit oh God this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus airways in the mighty name of Jesus upon the network in the mighty name of Jesus Lord the word will go forth with power and might in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah we pray for the testimonies, oh God. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the tree and pray. We thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Us, pray with us, to us. We give you praise for the prophet today. Father, oh God, those that want to, oh God, my God, they would not be able to do it in the name of Jesus. Come, oh God, now had dwellings in the mighty that's glory to God. Glory to God. You're going to take a place, oh God, that no yes, man Lord. can. In the Thank you, Jesus. Name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Microscopic eye, God, that you will be anything in the realm of the spirit. Come on now. Come on now. In the name of Jesus, glory. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. glory to God. Hallelujah. We call it your blood, Almighty God. Yes, Demon, Lord. Oh God, we're able to close any hand in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we say thank you for doing that. We thank cover you, Lord. God, the blood. Thank you. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. We give God praise and thanks and honor and glory for what He is doing today. Amen. Those of you that are here, please be mindful of your mics. Amen. <laughs> because remember, you're alive. We don't want what you're saying at, at your home in your privacy to be outside. Amen. So be mindful to mute your mics Amen. when necessary. And when necessary, open your mic and pray. Amen. That is what we are supposed to do. So let us start off with our testimonies. Amen. I know that there's too much testimonies here. So, and the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So, it is our testimony that is going to set us free. It is our testimony that is going to help us overcome this evening. And I want you all to make sure and those of you that need to have, give your testimony, line up because as soon as one finish, we give the next testimony. Amen. So that people can be blessed and know what God is doing in this part of the vineyard. So the first person, go right ahead. Give your testimony. Go ahead. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I must say, I want to give God praise and I want to give God time. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Everybody know Glory the whole God. Lady. Everybody knows the host voice lady, Miss Rogers. And it's glory to God. <laughs> amen, amen. Hallelujah. This afternoon, this evening, I want to put on my lights. I want everybody to recognize me. God is, <laughs> God is wonderful. You know, sometimes we pray and we pray and we think that God will act on us. But I want to tell somebody today, don't give up because God hear us. It's just a matter of time that he's going to move up on us. And he's going to open the door. You know, I had a situation in my life that I was praying to God for a little while. 
And I see God open doors. I see God open doors. Let me tell you, some of you guys are waiting on your, your paperwork, waiting on your green job, waiting on whatever. God is about to open doors. Continue. Just keep on this prayer. Just keep on that prayer line and watch God. I have to start up spreading the situation, you know. My husband was able to get you with his stuff. And I was like, wow, what thing was like stagnant. It was just stagnant. Nothing was moving. But since I have next on. to prophet as Christian ministry and we praying on that 3 a.m. My God, God is doing that, shifting my life. God is opening the doors. I want to say I want to thank God Jesus. for what he has what he is doing and what he's gonna to continue to do. Amen. Situation when I listen. They was going through some battles. They was going through some time, and I said, "God, what is this?" But I want to tell somebody today: our test is for our testimonies. Don't give up. Come on. Keep, on, keep on holding and keep on praying. Don't give up. Amen. Want us to lose what God wants to do for us today? Keep on Amen. going. You know, Come on. I'm a shining. Star. It doesn't matter what the enemy do. And I remember a time again. One more. I saw the enemy came at my my in my dream and telling me, "Oh, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna chew like bread, and I'm gonna kill you." And I was able to tell that demon in my sleep, "Go back to your sender. Chew them like bread." In the name of Jesus. I want us to see authority even in our dreams. Those dreams. Yes. Give those demons on them that don't want to trust my life. And this is my testimony. Come on. Don't give up. It doesn't matter what you say about us. It doesn't matter mm. what the Say, don't give up. God is real. Just keep Amen. pressing. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Powerful yes. indeed. Uh, and woman of God, I remember when when I, when we did the nation prayer, and I signed you to pray for the U.S. Amen. And I remember the night you told me that's when you saw the stuff in the mailbox that came, right? You know, from when you did the prayer for the U.S. So this is yes. what I say, yes. people of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you do things for God, when you align yourself with yes. God's work and God. So yes. He will never leave you stranded. Things that did not happen in years uh, will happen in a moment. Uh, why? Because you Amen. connect yourself to the things of God. Amen. Yes. And this Amen. is what our sister has experienced. Amen. And yes. according to what she said, connected to the tree emperor, she has received more power, more authority to speak back to the enemy. Uh, and yes. I thank God that, you know, she is a very active part of that tree emperor. And I give God praise for her testimony in thank Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Quickly, quickly, is there anyone else with your popping testimony? You call me private and you give me the testimony. So come on, let's testify. Who is next? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Who is next? Thank Go right you. ahead Amen. with your testimony. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. My, name, my name is Natasha. I just Go want ahead. to thank Prophetess Crystal, Brother Anthony, and the people on the 3 a.m. prayer. Because Come as on. you all know, my mom went to surgery last week, Thursday. Uh -huh. And I was totally out of it. I was so worried studying everything, you know, she was, she was on the Monday that the was to the uh -huh. and Brother Anthony, he was there coaching me, telling me to be calm, praying with me, even Prophetess Crystal, when the members of the three and prayer, mm -hmm. everything went well, she just Amen. had to stay for the surgery, after that, no pain she can move about, I just want to thank, thank you all and be connected to your prayer. I can be on the three I'm prayer due to work constraints, but I just want to thank you all for everything that you Amen. have done. Yes. Amen. And she's doing Amen. well and fine. 
Amen. Amen. Somebody shout out hallelujah. I can say Lord hallelujah. 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 Because as you celebrate someone's testimony, God is going to do it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We thank God for that powerful testimony. Amen. God is doing great things. Hallelujah. Who is next with your testimony? Go right ahead. Amen. Go right ahead. What? Listen to me, Ole. <laughs> you guys call my phone and say this and say that. Come on, let's go. We are taking two more testimony and that will be it. Testimony. Well, I want to thank you. Um, I spoke to my son Chase the other day and he was, uh -huh. he was stressing out about his scholarship, his sports scholarship and all that. And uh -huh. kind of talking out today, he don't have to participate in that particular sport if he chooses not to, but he has enough scholarships and everything to cover school that he don't have to pay for anything. He'd be going totally Jesus free. Christ. Oh God, glory to God. Amen. So Amen. For him to go there. Hey, my God, we give God praise and oh, thanks and oh, honor oh, and glory. Amen. Glory to God. God is I want to thank you as well for the prayer. Thank you. No problem. Amen. We give God praise and honor and glory. God is doing great things. Hallelujah. God is doing great things. I remember when he called me, he was so worried, yes. so concerned about it. Amen. And I gave him some prophetic direction to do yes. And the Lord just, he, I said, God, have your way in this child's life. Because he, yes. the, the main thing is that he does not have to pay for school. Amen. Yes. He, he has his scholarship and God is going to take him places. Amen. God is going to lift him from where he is to where he needs to be. Glory to God. And thank you, you for God your prayer. Thank you for everything, for your directions and everything. Thank you. Amen. Thank God. you. Hallelujah. We give Amen. God praise and honor and glory. Somebody clap unto the Lord. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord honor. Thank the Lord this afternoon because praise what he Lord. has done for somebody, he will do it for you. As you celebrate someone else's testimony, God is going to do it for you. Job prayed for his friends. Amen. And he, his affliction was being removed. Amen. We see that with Brother Anthony where he prayed for uh, uh, sister, sister Natasha and her mom. And we all of us, we prayed and we interceded on the 3 a.m. prayer. And look at what God has done. She testified of the goodness of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And those of yeah. you that are here under the sound of my voice, I pray for you uh, that God change your story uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. And amen. Who is next with their testimony? Amen. I see some mics were unmuted just now. Go ahead with your testimony. Is there anyone else? Yes, um, but Anthony. <laughs> this month of July, this month of July, um, uh -huh. things have to look up for me, you know. Um, when we started the 3 a.m. prayer ending, you know, I, 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 it was hard to get up. But then, I, you know, because I was getting calls, I get up, you know, and I, um, <laughs> I was at prayer. Who was and, calling you, Brother Anthony? Well, um, okay, Professor. <laughs> 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 I, go ahead, um, go ahead. I did to I did testify earlier in July month when I said that how my knee the devil yes. trying to let me, me feel a arthritis and I and I used I hit my knee and say I could walk. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. and being a 3 a.m. prayer, um it helps a lot, you know. And um I am walking now, you know, just a little niggle because you know the devil don't leave you. He just say, Let me try my game, let me try my game, you know. But I'm fighting with him about the two o'clock prayer and um uh, another thing, the, when you um, when we talk about the smell, I used to get mm -hmm. certain smell. I used to get certain smell, and bit, bit, when I hear what it is and what, and um, when I started to pray more, use my salt wherever and do my stuff. And, the direction, yes. Yeah, the direction. The only smell I get in now is the mm -hmm. coxswain that I light and the bread that I bake in. So thank you very much for the good that's Amen. Right, <laughs> Glory to God. 
God bless you, Brother Anthony. Thank you for your testimony. I always say the only man on Providence Crystal Ministry, but you know what? It have another man coming. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no vex, right? <laughs> no, I go back, I go back, I go back. All right. Amen. <laughs> so we give God praise and thanks for that. Amen. That God is indeed in the healing business. And I declare unto you, Brother Anthony, as you stay faithful, as you stay committed to God, he will give you that total breakthrough, that total Amen. healing, that total deliverance Amen. that you need in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Is there anyone else with your testimony? Go right ahead. Yes. Good day, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, I really have to give God thanks and praise today because, you know, I've been in the U.S. for, say, five years now. Mm -hmm. My visa ran out and everything, but I was living in New York and I was still able to work. Uh -huh. And my husband sent through his citizenship papers since 2021. Come and on. we have been waiting yeah. since then for a response. It has been back and forth, back and forth with USCIS. Uh -huh. And he switched over to active duty. And we had to um, move to a whole new state. So mm -hmm. I've been out of a job, just at home, can't do anything. And I went out on a limb and I said, this is it. I have to send in my paperwork. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I sent it in. And after a couple months, he got a mail and that said um, he should come in for interview. He went in for the interview, did all the tests, passed all the tests, mm -hmm. you know. And they mm -hmm. still asked for other documentation after that. Mm -hmm. But anyways... After I sent in my documents and so on, mm -hmm. they sent back for me to go and do a biometrics. Mm -hmm. I went in and did my biometrics. And the day after that, I got approval for my work permit. Amen. So Amen. I really have to thank God. You know, I'm still waiting on his citizenship paperwork to come through because I'm really de depending on that for my permanent residency. But I'm trusting in God. I know it comes through. At least part of it came through. <laughs> amen. Amen. Glory to God. We give God praise and thanks. Amen. I remember when I met up with you, Tina, on Facebook, I told you the US, US flag is on your name. And I actually cut out that uh, testimony to post it, but I didn't get around to finishing the uh, editing the video. And I remember giving you the prophetic direction. Amen. Yeah. And yes, and you were so obedient to it. Amen. And I thank God that God has given you your breakthrough. And listen, what God has started, he will complete it. That Amen. the rest of what you are waiting for, God is not a God that will leave you in part. He will complete everything that concerns you. So continue to trust in the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Somebody clap unto the Lord. Give the Lord praise. Amen. It is God that is doing it. So give God the glory. Somebody Amen. unmute your mic and tell the Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as you tell the Lord, thank you, what you are looking for, God is going to give it to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Natalie Walcott, I know that you have a testimony. Go ahead and give your testimony money good afternoon everyone good afternoon um, god is good um yes. i know he's working on my case yes. um, i'm not clear from all my petitions that i'm making to him but he answered me which i pray that i never made mm -hmm. i was called into a meeting um after several weeks of the 3 a.m. prayer was called into a meeting by my managers and supervisors. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit frightened, but I said, you know what? I am a child of God and I know that I mark myself. I have a certain standard that I keep when I'm on the job. So yes. I know I was not in error of anything, but still, you know, the flesh, you're wondering, well, and the way that it summons you, 
Miss George, come up to the office now. Right. So I was like, wow. I went up. I took a deep breath. I said, Holy Spirit, go for it. Mm. And when I sat down, I realized everybody had this kind of smile on their face. So I dropped my shoulders. Mm-hmm. And even a promotion of assistant supervisor. The surprising, thing that, came, oh, yeah, the surprising thing that stood out to me, mm-hmm. there were people there 10, 15 years. There were some, there was a next lady there 20 years. Mm-hmm. And God just overlooked everyone and came to me and Jesus. I'm only there just four years Amen. and I just look, Amen. overlooked that and came to me so promotion Amen. comes from him Amen. and I thank him today because he's able and I know that I know that it's not qualification that gave me that position it's God's grace and mercy it's God's Amen. favor upon my life so to Amen. someone out there who is listening someone out there who has been looking unto God for maybe a promotion or maybe something, take your eyes off it and put your eyes on Jesus because I never prayed for that promotion (laughs) and that promotion came so take your eyes off the promotion and keep your eyes on the Lord seek him for him and everything else will be added in Jesus name so I give God all all the glory and all the honor Amen Amen. Glory to God. We give God praise and thanks uh, that wherever it is uh, that God wants to move you up, he will move you up with no questions asked from anyone else. uh. Mm -hmm. And even I declared over this group, uh, those of you that are connected to me, you will know that I said in the month of July, you will testify. I say that. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the declaration over the group. In the mm-hmm. month of July, you will testify. Yeah. And in June, I said that uh, because yeah. I know that I went before God. I said, Lord, these people that come here on the 3 a.m. prayer that is connected to the group, they must testify. And today mm-hmm. we are giving testimonies and July is not finished yet. You, we just it's reached really the long. 14th of July. Amen. July mm-hmm. is not finished yet. So listen, keep your eyes out and your ears out because because we never know what god is going to do next those of you who do not have your testimony not because you don't have your testimony means god has forgotten you no because he's doing it for your neighbor listen he's in your vicinity just prep yourself and say aha mine's is coming mine's is coming mine's is coming come on open up your mic and declare that my testimony is coming my testimony is coming. come on now declare it it's coming it's coming it's coming Amen. Hallelujah. Your testimony is coming to you. Hallelujah. God is in your neighborhood and he's about to make you testify. Glory to God in Jesus name. Is there anyone else with that testimony? I think this would be a final one. Is there anyone else? Anybody else to the testimony? I don't have one as yet, but I just want to say to the lady, my Uh pastor said, don't mind who is rushing up in the front. They are in the front, but the Lord will take from the back to bring them to the front. (laughs) (laughs) Amen. 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 Glory to God. That's right. He will take who is in the back and bring them in the front. That's how it goes. Amen. So glory to God. If there is no other (laughs) testimonies at this point, let us move forward. Yes. I would like to testify. Go right ahead. Um, it's not a, it's it's not one of the, the, the jaw dropping testimonies. Go ahead. But Go I right ahead. I would just like to thank God mm-hmm. that I'm in the oh. land of the living. Yes. The very yes. fact that I'm breathing is a reason for me to testify and to thank God for Amen. everything that He's done and everything that He's going to continue to do. Mm-hmm. You know. I've been praying to God to give me more time that I can spend in his presence. I've been praying for for my daughter to get um a job that's she's doing a job but it's not, you know, the kind of job that she wants. And recently in church, the pastor asked for prayers if anybody wants a job or anybody wants, you know. So I went up and I stood in the gap for her. And you know, the Monday, she got a call 
to work in the kind of job that she wants. It's just for two days, but we're grateful. Amen. We're grateful. Amen. So I just want to thank God for life. Mm-hmm. I want to thank God that I'm in the land of the living. I am healthy. My children are healthy. We have a roof over our heads. Lord, and he, he's God. providing. Amen. He is providing. Every day, every day, the little... He showed me some little, little things to, to, to let me know that he's by my side. Lord, it might not God. seem the big thing to some people, but I am thankful for every little thing that he does for me. Amen. Every little thing that he does Amen. for me. Amen. So I'm encouraging everybody to just keep your eyes on God. Look to him. He's the author and the finisher of your faith, no matter what comes your way. The devil will try. He will continue to hit you. But keep your eyes on the prize. Keep Glory your eyes God. on God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. We Amen. give God praise and thanks and honor and glory. Amen. Yes. God is doing great things among the lives of the people of God here. And I thank God for each and every one of you and your testimony. Before I close, anybody else? Or oh, I can move on. Professor, I just want to testify. Go right ahead. <laughs> I'm going to give God thanks for you and my sister oh. who shared with me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to give um, God thanks, give you thanks, give the prayer group, the, the 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. The powerful, there's, there's powerful prayer in the 3 a.m. Amen. Um, so, yeah. So I asked a prayer for my daughter, Cheryl. Mm-hmm. I think you remember. Yes. And you, you put someone to pray for mm-hmm. her. Mm-hmm. And they saw an altar. So the person pray against the altar. And I, the next two days, the boyfriend mother was sleeping on a chair and she fell and she broke two ribs. Mm, my God. So, and that same day, a, a bird poop on the on the guy hand. Wow! Does delivery for um, Amazon, but somehow the bird poop on his hand, mm-hmm. and um, he went crazy. So my daughter, she went back to him. So I'm just praying that this altar will be destroyed. Amen. Name because. She she like take up more with the guy, like he has something holding up. Mm-hmm. He and the mother. Yeah, so I'm just praying that this altar will be destroyed, you know? Yeah. Amen. And an- another thing is before I uh, my sister put me on to you, mm-hmm. I used my head used to be like like dizzy. Mm-hmm. I have to take tablets. It's a feeling I, I can't describe like I want to fall. Sometimes like I want to fall after go and lie down. Mm-hmm. And thank God, since I'm in your ministry, mm-hmm. and on the and prayer, the dizziness is gone. Amen. I Glory to God. Tablet. I have to take a tablet Amen. for a while. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. and that feeling... That feeling, I don't get that feeling anymore. Jesus, I, I'm Lord. Up at like eleven at night, and that feeling, I couldn't like stay up till nine o'clock. I had to go to bed. Jesus, and thank God that feeling it's gone. Yeah, hmm. I think sometimes like I want to faint, I want to fall. Yeah, but no more. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Somebody open up your mouth and give God thanks. Thank the Lord this evening for what he is doing. Amen. We thank God that God is showing himself evident among the group. Amen. I know that there is more testimonies. There is more testimonies. There's a person that has two testimonies and there's some other people that are not here yet. But all in all, we give God praise and thanks mm-hmm. for what he is doing. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I pray that each and every one of you as you have testified, whatever it is that is troubling your life, whatever needs mm-hmm. to 
it be broken. I declare it be broken in the name of Jesus. I pray for each and every one of you under the sound of my voice uh, as you are connected to this ministry uh, that God is going to destroy every grip, uh, every hold yes. of the enemy upon yes. your life uh, in the name yes. of Jesus. Uh, you yes. will, you are blessed. Uh, you are yes. strong. Uh, yes. You are prosperous. Uh, your yes. way is open. Uh, every yes. hindrance yes. upon your life, uh, it yes. is being destroyed yes. right yes. now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of poverty, every spirit of depression, every spirit of frustration, go in the name of Jesus. Go out of the lives of the people. Out in the name of Jesus. I declare that healing is the children's bread. By his stripes, you are healed. I declare that healing, Bam of Gilead, be upon each and every one of you that need total healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare that you will continue to be strong in the Lord uh, and in the power of his might. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh, amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We give God praise and honor and glory this afternoon. Uh, those of you that have your pen and paper, let's get ready to get into our teaching today. Amen. Oh God. Lord, change our smell. And I know that you, many of you have your perfume. Amen. You can have it in your hand. And let us pray two prayer points before I get in. As the Spirit of the Lord is leading me. Hallelujah. And, and as you have your perfume with you, you are praying this prayer. Oh God, change my smell. Connect me to favor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. Pray, oh God, uh, change oh God, my smell uh, my and smell. connect me to favor in the name of Jesus. Come on now, open up your mouth and declare it. Oh God, uh, change my smell uh, and connect me to favor in the name of Jesus. We pray. Uh, hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. And we are here this afternoon and I want want you to know uh, that God is here with us. Amen. Hallelujah. He has designated this time for us to see the importance of smell, of our smell, of what the smell is, uh, what our smell is in connection to in the realm of the spirit. Uh, for those of you that were here yesterday, does anyone want to do a short recap for me, amen, of what you understood for those that were not here? Is there anyone here you just want to do a quick <laughs> recap anyone anything that you that you grasp from that time of teaching yesterday anybody was taking notes at all Jesus I was taking note, but I'm not in the school right now with my husband. Okay. All right, let's let's continue. Amen. So we are dealing with our smell. Amen. We are dealing with our smell. And I what I, I went through the scriptures with each and every one uh, yesterday that was on the broadcast. Uh, just to review a little bit, uh, we went to Exodus where we saw that Jesus told Moses to create a fragrance uh, to place on the tabernacle of testimonies. Uh, and Jesus said, uh, when you create the fragrance, uh, I will come there. I will meet you there. Amen. Uh, not sorry, not Jesus. God was given uh, Moses uh, and he also gave Moses the kinds of things to put in the fragrance. Uh, amen. Uh, and he said the fragrance will be used upon the, the tabernacle of testimony. And you can go to Exodus chapter 30 verse 34 to 38. You can read there and find out what was related there. If you missed yesterday, go back 
back on my YouTube, on Facebook, it is there. Amen. We even touched on Matthew chapter 2, verse 11, that spoke about uh, Jesus when he was born. There were three things that was given to him by the wise men. Now, many people, just by the way, many people say it's three wise men. No, it was not three wise men that came to see Jesus, but that's another teaching for another time. But there were three things that were mentioned, glory to God, of significance, which was gold, frankincense, and myrrh which was frankincense and myrrh are two cents that are used for royalty. Amen. And we see that as Jesus was given those, those uh, two cents, uh, we, we also connected, get uh, your scent is connected to a different transition in life. We see that when, when God told Moses, hallelujah, to put the, the, the scent on the tabernacle of testimony, we saw that God said, when you put it there, I will come down and meet you there. Amen. Then we see Jesus now, he was born as a babe. He was being prepared for, for coming on the earth. So he had his two fragrance, which was frankincense and myrrh. Then we also went ahead and we went into John chapter 12 verse 3, when the woman poured the oil, the uh, the oil from the alabaster box on Jesus' feet. Uh, hallelujah. And we see again that that was preparation for another transition in the life of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Jesus was being prepared to go to the cross. Uh, hallelujah. We also see again when it comes to fragrance, Jacob and Esau, we see that the mother took the scent of the older one and put it on the younger one. Uh, and we see that when the scent was transferred, the father described the scent as a field that the Lord has blessed. Amen. So we see that when the scent was transferred, the blessing was given to the younger one. And we see that the scent uh, connected him uh, to a different dimension. Oh my God. I hope you guys getting it. I'm running through it. Uh, if you did not get it too bad. Amen. Amen. And I today our two scriptures that I'm gonna get in, not two, but our next scripture I'm gonna get into, which I wish someone can get for me, is Leviticus 23 18. Let's go to Leviticus 23 18 and see what is there for us. If you have it, you can read. Amen. Leviticus. 20, 23 verse 18. And you shall offer with the bread seven lambs, a year uh -huh. old and without blemish, and mm -hmm. one young bull and two rams. They uh -huh. shall be a burnt offering to the Lord with their right. cereal offering and their drink offering, an offering made by fire of a sweet and satisfying fragrance to the Lord. Hey, my God. So we see that the Lord loves sweet and satisfying fragrance. So people may look at you after now and say, well, why are you using perfume? Why, why you know, they, they're talking about, oh, Lord, change your smell. We see that the Lord inhabits these things. He loves these things. Amen. We see that this is something that uh, is pleasing unto God. And it is even pleasing unto man. If you come near to a person and you you are smelling terrible. Who wants to be near you? Nobody. Amen. But we have to put it in a sense that, hey, we even see that in verse 18 here. It says that the offering, <laughs> the sweet smelling savor would be on to the Lord. Glory to God. It will be on to the Lord. And, and God will, will take this offering and enjoy it. Amen. Let's Let's go to another scripture, 2 Corinthians 2.15. Hallelujah. If you were following from yesterday, you would get the gist of what I'm saying. But let's go to 2 Corinthians 12.15. Ooh. Sorry, it's 2.15. Yeah, sorry. Anybody have it? 
but I will most gladly spend myself and be utterly spent for your soul. If I love you exceedingly, am I to be loved by you less? Brother Anthony, no, that's not it. Second Corinthians 2.15. 215. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. Okay, so you see that scripture, it is necessary for you as a child of God to know that you are an, an aroma of Christ. My version, which is the King James says, for we are unto God, a sweet savor of Christ. Hallelujah. So it is important to deal with your spiritual smell. Now, as God has given me the direction to use the, the physical thing, it is going to be transferred it is going to work on your spirit man. Amen. And God will receive the glory. We see that the scripture says, uh, for we are unto God a sweet savor, which means God's, God loves sweet things. He loves a sweet aroma. Glory to God. Some of you, the spirit of the Lord would have me to say this to you. Some of you, you have your homes uh, and you walk into the, to the door and you smell a smell of the garbage rotting. You smell a smell of, of something smelling or anyhow anyhow listen i go to the store all the time and i get the nice plugins and i plug it in and my house is always smelling good listen it is necessary for you to be aware of smells amen it is necessary for you to keep your house in order i don't know this is just the lord keep your house in order don't let anybody enter into your house or enter into your bedroom and it's smelling anyhow sometimes you go, you use someone's toilet and the toilet is, oh, all how, listen, uh, I, I, this is just uh, what the Lord would have me to say to put your house in order. This is for somebody this evening. Uh, you're smelling your house. Uh, make sure that your house is, is clean, is, 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 you know, smelling clean, is, is, is put together properly. Amen. All these connect, all these things connect. You go into your bedroom, your bedroom, your, your sheets and change for weeks change the pillowcase change the pillows uh, have some fresh scents uh, have your 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 plug in or your spray ever so often you spray your room you have it smelling clean uh, because god inhabits uh, the sweet smell amen the clean places uh, glory to god hallelujah the, my, i think my dad used to tell my mama dad used to say um cleanliness is next to godliness you know <laughs> when you're young and your room you know is not put together they'll say listen cleanliness is next to godliness clean your room <laughs> but my dad was a one he was always on the clean side he always want to put things together and even my mom too but he my dad was more strict on that amen but so too it is necessary for us to have our environment clean our environment put together you understand and so god can the angels of the lord do you know that you have angels with you that the angels of the lord can dwell in your environment in peace amen can dwell and and be able to bring messages and you know and and be, and be able to just flow with you because your environment is welcoming your house is clean your bedroom is cleaner wherever you you go and you pray it is clean you put things together amen and so when you have yourself put together and 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 you know there's a a certain level of cleanliness that comes with you it is is a free flow you can as the bible says be a sweet smelling savior unto God. Sometimes you have a car, your car in a mess. You don't know, oh God, Lord, you beg, you pray to God for the car and you get the car. The car was a nice car before you had it, but when you see you start to drive this car, you, you make a mess of the car. You always have your shoes, things pack up here. You have the car like if it's your house or your, you know, you're, you're, you're on a road trip. Come on, people of God. This, this is something that the Lord had to, you know, just give me to give you that keep your environment clean keep your things clean keep yourself put together amen glory to god i don't know who that wood was for but uh, you know <laughs> it is all 
so necessary, amen, to keep your house clean, to keep yourself clean, amen, to keep your ladies, you want to attract a man, please come on, brush your teeth, make sure your armpit clean, make sure your arm underneath clean, keep yourself clean. Oh my God. Hello, hello, hello. Listen, uh, uh, I don't know how, how, how this coming, but the spirit of the Lord had me to talk about it. Keep your hair, your hair clean. Okay, you do a nice weave. Make sure you wash it. Uh, you keep yourself together. Make sure you shave men. Men, you as well. Keep your, your private area clean. Amen. Keep clean behind your ears. Those of you who uh, don't know this is... <laughs> Not <laughs> <laughs> yes, listen, I don't mind a man going and sit down and get a pedicure to keep mm -hmm. himself clean and put together. Amen. Woman, you know, go make that time for yourself. Go get your nails done. Keep yourself. Listen, listen, yeah. This is just all part of it. I don't know. I, I think God want me to talk about this physical aspect because it connects. Everything connects. We are made of body, soul, and spirit. Amen. And once we try and put ourselves together and keep ourselves, those of you, your mouth, if you know you have a bad mouth, your mouth smell, please go get a clean or get a purge out. You know what I mean? Go take some herbs or teas and the dubo something you know and just clean yourself clean like even when i when i transitioned from the caribbean to here my skin would have broke out in pimples and i said god i was frustrated every day because you know you're supposed to take care of yourself it is necessary people of god as much as you're dealing with your spirit you also have to keep your physical clean. You ladies, your husband can come home and you're, you're wearing the same dress from since this morning. You're smelling frows. No, come on, keep it clean. Keep it together so the man can be interested. The man can, you know, always want to come there. Oh my God, somebody help Amen. me. Amen. Amen. It is necessary. Sometimes, you know, you pass gas, you smell it is a little bit too much. Go and take a clean out. Go and take a purge. Amen. Because, you know, you Amen. probably eat some bad meat or whatever. <laughs> Amen. Or, or take yourself on a three-day fruits only. Amen. Go get some lemon juice. Squeeze the lemon. Clean your body. Amen. I don't know why we're going all there, but the Lord <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. <laughs> Keep yourself yeah, clean. Keep yeah. your temple because the Bible said your body is the temple of the Lord. Amen. Yeah, and I yeah. don't know how much of you that pay attention to your body, but when you eat certain foods, you start to emit and smell a certain way. Come on, put yourself together. When you step out of the house, they must say, hmm, who is that? Who is this lady? Who is that man? You smell, you have your nice perfume, you spray it, you always look good, you always smell good. Mm. If you want to be, you know, oh God, somebody help me. Oh. Listen, I, I just, <laughs> it is necessary for us to take this this <clears throat> afternoon and it is part of what we need to know. Oh, we are Amen. dealing with the spirit, yes, but we have to deal with the physical. Amen. Ladies, Amen. you know, if you know you use a cave lady, a hairy, go and shave your legs. Keep yourself, go cut your toenail, put a nice color, you know, do a color in your hair. Oh my God, ladies, I think we have to do. All connected. Listen, listen, you know, you know what has happened. I know that I am younger than most of you all here, but you know, these are just things that the Lord would have me to talk about. And sometimes I'd be, I'd be like, okay, these people are older than me. I shouldn't be saying these things to them, but I can't help myself, especially when the Lord say, say this, I have to be obedient. Amen. Glory yes. to God. Yes. And those of you that you, you, you know, you, you just need to clean on the inside. You just need to yes. also have your physical body together. You also have to have your house together. If you know you're in your house right now and you're looking around, you have a messy corner, go and clean it up because God also dwells in your home. He dwells wherever you are. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Oh my God, people have got to forgive me. You know, I'm always looking for my charger. Yikes. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So we need to, you know, be wise and you know allow God to uh to be be free to dwell in our space. Amen. To dwell Amen. among us because God loves cleanliness. Yeah, he loves you know that we have a smell that is appealing. That we have a, a aroma around us amen that is 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 what's coming into amen glory to god hallelujah and we need to put these things into proper order as much as we are dealing with our spirit man we have to deal with our physical man amen ladies we have so much purses that we change we have had like a 500 purse every purse inside the purse it has paper it has rubbish it has, hey come on clean out your purse Clean out your purse so that yes. good money could come in. Uh, yeah, amen. Clean out your 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 thing, your 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 makeup case so that you know you can have your things in order. I don't know why I'm going there, but you know it is that we need to also do a physical cleaning uh, so that mm-hmm. God aroma can be around our lives. Amen. Yes, Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us open up our mouth and pray that prayer. Oh God, uh, help <clears throat> me to receive your cleanliness. Uh, help me to receive more of your cleanliness in my life. Uh, if your, your house is not in order, Lord, help me to put my house in order. Open up your mouth and pray that prayer this afternoon. Come on, open up your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh Lord, help me to put my house in order. Come on, open up your mouth and pray this afternoon. Pray that prayer point. Lord, help me to put my house in order. Help me to put my house in order. Help me to put my house in order. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, help me to put my house in order in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. If it is that we see in the Bible that God said the streets are streets of gold, do you think that's a dirty place? No. Amen. We also, you know, you see, sense in the in the Bible. Sometimes people connect <laughs> heaven to clean sense. Sometimes you hear them when they say they go to heaven, the place was smelling so clean. You know, uh, oh, people of God, come on. We need to put it together, keep it together. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So moving on, and I want to share a little bit with you about what happens or what is the cause. What caused the. Uh, um, Breaking up. Breaking up. Breaking up. Sense. And yesterday we we went. Amen. 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 Are you hearing me? Am I clear? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, good. So yesterday we went through what, wh- where do you connect these bad scents from? And we said some of those areas are from having unprotected sex or having sex with the wrong person. When you are having sex with the wrong person, your scent can be changed. Your scent can be defiled. You can receive bad scents from having sex with different people. Amen. Another way you can your scent can be changed is if it is that you are, are, are eating in the dream. Remember, I told you that the food in the dream is not food. It is their feces that they take, they put together, and they feed it to you. That is another way that your scent can be changed. Glory to God. Another way that your scent can be changed is when your foundation has a bad scent. Amen. Your foundation has a, has a curse in it or has a problem that your uncle is a drunkard, your father is a drunkard, your auntie drinking, your, your nene, and it comes down to you. That is a bad scent that is upon your life. Glory to God. Sometimes you feel someone said here yesterday that sometimes they physically get a bad odor. And yes, that is another indication 
that your scent is tampered with. Another way that your scent can be tampered with is witchcraft manipulation. Amen. So when you have that uh, witchcraft manipulation, uh, they, they tamper with your smell. So when you come before people, you, you face rejection. One of the re one of the effects or one of the things that happen to you when your smell is tampered with is rejection. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I will move on to some of that. Amen. Another thing that can change your smell is unforgiveness and hatred. The worst thing you can do is carry about unforgiveness and hatred. It tampers with your smell. I was telling someone the other day that you can, you can not that you dislike the person, you dislike the action that they have committed. You dislike the thing that they have done. Amen. But after what well, after you're over that, get over it, let it go and move on and let God deal with that. Amen. Are you hearing me? If you are hearing me, say Amen. yes, I am hearing you. Yes, I'm hearing you. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm hearing, hearing, hearing you. I'm hearing you. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Another Amen. thing that can come from, uh, uh, another thing that can change your scent is abortion. Uh, many of you, you, you know, in your early days, you, you're doing things uh, uh, carelessly and you got a child and, you know, you say, I'm not able to raise a child right now. So you go, you do a... a don't know that the spirit of that child is is crying out against you so abortion can also be something that can change your smell in the realm of the spirit you are you are just pee, you are just there and you know you you want to know what you do wrong that the the death of that child is on your on your spirit on your soul and it is going everywhere you go Amen. Another thing that can cause your smell to be changed is stealing. You know, you never know when you when you steal things. Uh, people like say, for example, this is mine. I pray over it. Uh, I mm. mount it. Uh, right there, are some people that they serious, serious witch and warlock. They whatever they have, they pray over it. They mount it, and you just find it so cute. You come and collect it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That can change your smell. If you you just pick up. Uh, that thing and you go up, your life is turned upside down it's stealing you know uh, another thing that can change your smell is disrespecting people in authority or disrespecting men and women of god listen one thing i want you to know please if you are not in agreement with a man or a woman of god please leave go do not stay under their grace and bad talk them or do not stay under their grace and cause confusion or do not even if you don't understand them if you don't want to be around them forget about them because what they have on them can 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 make so you, you can change your destiny can cause problems for you because listen god has called them into a particular office and there are angels that are working with them there is an unseen army that is working with them and you as one person come to cause problems do if it is that that uh, man or woman of God, do not take your name before God. There is angels that work with them that record everything. These things can affect your smell. That wherever you go, people will reject you because of that one man of God or woman of God that you disrespect. Oh God, somebody hear me. I have seen it many times that I've seen prophetic service where people go and say, woman of God, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. The prophet will tell them that man that you served under, that you disrespected, that woman that go back and apologize and that is your solution. People of God, be very careful in this life. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me today? Amen. 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 Another thing that can change your smell is wearing the clothing of other people that are rejected, that are going through a hardship. Uh, and I, I mentioned that yesterday. Do You want to learn your underwear. You want to learn your bra. You want to learn your t-shirt. You want to learn your socks. You want to learn your shoe. You want to learn your comb. You want to go and give you the, the makeup case. You, oh, come on, please. There are some things that are personal for you alone to you. 
users mm. that, that is connected to you. Oh gosh, L I like that lipstick on your lip. You know, give me your lipstick now. And she take the lipstick, she put it on her lip. As she put, as they are putting it on their lip, they are watching you, and in their heart, they they speaking whatever evil they want over your lipstick, mm. and then honey it back just like that. And you put that on, and your smell change. All of a sudden, it's back and all with you and your husband. All of a sudden, the fiance they want to marry. Oh my God! Please, people of God, be very careful. You borrow somebody with simple like this, this handkerchief that I have. If it is somebody borrow this, if it, I am a woman that is anointed, when somebody take this and and use it, whatever problem they are going through, they will be healed from it. So too, if it is that you meet up a obia woman or a man or a woman that is not of God and you borrow their stuff, they will there will be a transference of spirit upon you that can change your smell. Oh God, people of God, are you hearing me this afternoon? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You, you go on and you sit down. Now, this is something that I mentioned yesterday, but I want to get into it today. At the end of the year, these companies have their big dinners and their big things that they throw and they want everybody from the company to come and eat. Some of these company owners, they are just there to throw this event to collect your destiny, to collect your glory, for their business to shine, for their business to prosper. Some of them that go into these businesses, they make human sacrifices. They do all kind of hog puja and, and, and evil enchantment to be where they are for their company to flourish. And you go like, like, um, like, like, you know, what, what to say, like loopy dog and you're gone. Yeah. I go in dinner and you go in, I go in here, you go in, I go in, and everybody go in, not knowing you're going to eat off of the table of witches and warlocks, that your destiny is being exchanged. <laughs> People of God, please be careful. Amen. It is not everywhere you go to eat. Hallelujah. Me as a woman of God. Hallelujah. I take, I take, I be very careful where I go and eat. Amen. More times I cook my own food. It's my one friend that will come and say, let's go to this nice restaurant. And you know, sometimes when you eat there, you pray over your food. You don't just gobble down like gobbler. No. Oh God. No. You pray over your food. Amen. There's another one that I want to mention. You go to these Baptist feasts. You go to these thanksgiving. They, you don't know what they thanking God for, but you hurry, hurry, go to the thanksgiving. You, you, do you know the people and them? No, somebody tell you, come, right? And you come to the feast or you come to the thanksgiving and you're eating, eating the food. You take all, you're bringing doggy bag, two, three, four doggy bag. You come home, you eat, you share to your nanny, your uncle, your, your nanny, your dude, your this, your, and all of that. You're just eating the food off of demonic tables. All they don't laugh, you know, this is a sin. <laughs> hey, my God. Oh, God, oh, God. People of God, we have to be careful, uh, Brother Anthony. You as well know that even we spoke about it in 3 a.m. prayer time that yeah, um yeah. we spoke about a supermarket that has yeah. snakes running around yeah. in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Amen. Uh, that when you go there in the nighttime, we hours in the morning, you're seeing the snake crawling on all the groceries. <laughs> Listen. They offer up the supermarket to demonic powers. Hey, my God, people, when you are sleeping, this is why it is important as a child of God, get up and pray. 3 a.m. prayer is a good time to pray. When the sweet sleep and you want to pull the cover, get up, get up and get on your prayer. Get up and pray because in the nighttime, listen, hmm. You know who was the worst part? I have seen this part where uh, there's this um, company, they have a fleet of aircrafts. They take the pundit, the pundit come and he have to run the smoke all around. It's one big airplane. Eh? So, you know, they, this this is noticeable. It, it, it will go on for hours because he have to walk around the whole airplane. And you see, they're going with the music. You know how the music does go? And they're doing their prayers on the aircraft. Oh, 
God. I say, Lord, I mark that area and I say, eh, eh, I'm not going on that one. But it's somewhere over in India. But you never know. These people that are in businesses, in high places, you can't trust them. They are connected to evil that you don't know. That you don't know what they are doing. So you need to be very careful. But this is outside of the smell. But anyway, you need to know. Amen. You need to be careful when you step into places. You see the big Buddha God. You're going in there to gobbler. You go, you're eating. You're going in there. You're spending money like water. You don't need that to know. You don't need it. But you're spending money. Because why? There is an altar. There is something that is there. Oh God, that even when now you buy these things and you connect it, it changes you. Amen. I spoke yesterday about uh, those big stars that make their perfume, just like God told Moses to make, put spices together and make the perfume unto me. So too they will make perfumes unto their demons, unto the devil. And you ready, you're going in the store. Oh God, this, uh, look, she bring out this perfume, you know, she bring out this, you know, and I get it first. You're lining up by the door, you're making sure you're fighting everybody to get in this door. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. People of God, use wisdom. Be very careful. When you spray this perfume on you, you don't know what you're attracting. But today, as you have your perfume in hand, lift it up uh, and say, oh God, uh, I thank you uh, that yeah. this, as, yeah. as I use this perfume, uh, my scent will be changed. Uh, oh God, as I use this perfume, uh, my scent will be changed. Uh, come on now, open up your mouth and pray. Uh, I I oh, dedicate this, this perfume to you, Lord, as I use it. Uh, my sin will be changed uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, as I use it, uh, my sin will be changed for your honor, for your glory. Uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, amen and amen and amen. So now, what some results of when your, your scent is being changed? What happens? So I, I just told you, how can your scent be changed? Now I'm going to tell you the symptoms or what, when you look at your life, you would see, okay, this happens to me, your scent could be changed and tamper with. So what happens? Constant rejection and hatred. Everywhere you go, somebody rejecting you. You're not able to move forward in getting your promotion. You're not able to move forward in getting your advancement. Somebody has tampered with your scent. Marital disappointment. The man come, they, they, he likes you, he talk, she talked to you, she say, she went on a second date, a third date, and all of a sudden she not pick answering your calls anymore. Listen, please, your scent has been tampered with amen glory to god another thing people promise and fail promise and fail is another big thing that is being tampered with in the realm of your spirit your scent is being changed glory to god am i going too fast is there anyone that uh, needs me to slow down a little bit i'm going fast because of time Hallelujah. Are you there with me? Are you there? Say, I am here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Amen. I'm here. Another, another result of your sin being tampered with uh, is frustration and disappointment. Uh, another one is limitation and financial burdens. Uh, my God. Uh, hallelujah. Another one where your sin has been tampered with. Uh, you are in love with a man or a woman who is not reciprocating that love for you. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, be wise. Hallelujah. Do not do not continue in the Amen. same way as you as we use the perfume today. God is going to change your center. He's going to change your story. Another effect is shame. You're receiving a shame in your life. Your scent has been tampered with. Uh, glory to God. Another effect is living below God's standards uh, for your life. Uh, your scent is being tampered with. Somebody, I hope you are hearing me today. I'm giving Lord. you a lot, amen, uh, so that you can go and, you know, 
think about your life and think about it and say, hey, or even you can help someone and say, hey, listen, somebody is tampering with you. You need to pray. You need to do something. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, listen, I know of uh, many different things that people use uh, to change your sense. Uh, many people can use animals such as rats. You know, rat is a, a dirty thing. So they get a rat, they cut open the rat, and they put your name in the rat. Oh, my God. It's a serious oh. witchcraft, eh? They put your name in the rat, and as the rat oh. rotten, you start to smell. You and you physically start to smell. Listen, I pray for you today, if you are going through that level of witchcraft, uh, that it be broken off of your life in the name of Jesus. Uh. Hallelujah. You, I'm not hearing you saying amen. I'm not hearing amen, you agreeing. Amen. Oh amen, my God, amen. Another thing that will, will uh, tamper with your smell, they will take a frog and put your name inside of the frog as the frog swells up and bursts. Uh, so too, you will start to smell. Oh my God, oh Lord, I Jesus. pray that God amen. will not allow you to continue through that level of witchcraft uh, in amen. the name of Jesus, amen. my prayer. Amen. 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 amen and amen. Another one I have seen uh, where they have taken a dog uh, and they have taken the person's pants and, and underwear and they put it around the dog uh, and they did their band. They wrap up, wrap, wrap, wrap the dog. The dog is dead. Eh? Yes, and yes. They, you can see that they put the, they put the person trousers there. And as the dog starts to decay, so too the person started decaying. I saw this on a testimony and they came into connection with a man of God that delivered them, that break them out of that. People of God, this life, you have to be very careful. Amen. Say, neighbor, I will be careful. 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 Glory to God. Let us put our perfumes in our hand and pray this prayer. This prayer point. Oh Lord, every power that has diverted my glory in the name of Jesus. I restore my glory in Jesus. Oh, Come on, oh, let's spread that prayer point again. Oh Lord, oh, Lord. every power that has diverted my glory, I, I cut it off in the name of Jesus. I retrieve my original glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Our next prayer point we are praying. Oh God, I release myself from the spirit. Of bad order. Come on, let's open up your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, I release myself from the spirit of bad order in the name of Jesus. Come on, oh Lord, I release myself from the spirit of bad order in the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, I release myself from the spirit of bad order in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen, amen and amen, amen and amen. amen. Glory amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we are praying and we are declaring God every center that is connected to my life that is not a viewer. Let it be destroyed. Every center that is not a viewer that is connected to my life. Let it be destroyed. Every center that is not a viewer that is connected. My life, let it be every sense that is not of you that is connected to my life, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every sense that is not of you that is connected to my life, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We pray, amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Listen, people of God, there is sometimes that you have sex with a man. 
man or a woman uh, and your private part did not smell before that uh, but when you are finished connecting with them it smells uh, i pray for you man or woman in the name of jesus uh, the cause of that order let it be destroyed in it's jesus in mighty jesus name, name. And every smell uh, every foul smell uh, that will come out of your private area oh god uh, let it be destroyed come on open up your mouth and pray this morning uh, this evening uh, every center that will come out of your private area that is not of god every evil scent every dirty center that will come out of your private area that is not of god uh, let it be destroyed uh, let it be destroyed uh, let it be destroyed uh, in the name of jesus we pray uh, amen and amen and amen glory to god we have three more prayer points uh, and we're gonna go through it amen today uh, there is a scent that the outside woman uh, will put on you uh, that will make sure that your husband remove himself far away from you uh, our prayer point is uh, this afternoon oh god uh, every scent uh, that has been placed on me uh, that my spouse has been moved away from me uh, oh god change my order return my spouse uh, in the name of jesus uh, every scent uh, that has been placed on me uh, that has sent my spouse uh, far away from me uh, oh god change my scent uh, and return my spouse i'm gonna ask the lord this evening uh, change your scent uh, let your spouse return in the name of jesus uh, in the name of jesus uh, let your scent return let your original scent return uh, let your uh, let your scent uh, be connected to your spouse uh, in the name of jesus uh, everywhere uh, that they have used bad order to pollute your relationship uh, let it be flushed out uh, everywhere uh, that they have used bad order to pollute your relationship uh, let it be flushed out uh, in the name of jesus uh, everywhere uh, they have used bad order to pollute your relationship uh, let it be destroyed uh, in the name of jesus uh, everywhere they have used uh, bad order to pollute your relationship uh, let it be destroyed uh, in the name of jesus uh, amen uh, amen amen glory to god uh, you are doing well this afternoon amen uh, you are doing well uh, and we are praying our next prayer point uh, any foul odor that has repelled my destiny helper lord flush it out of my life uh, let them return uh, every bad odor that has repelled uh, my destiny helper flush it out uh, and let them return come on open up your mouth and pray this afternoon and every foul odor every foul odor in the name of Jesus that has repelled uh, your destiny helper uh, let it be flushed Men, uh, final, we are praying this afternoon. This is the final prayer point. Uh, and those of you that are here under the sound of my voice again, uh, I want you to take uh, take a seed and sow it into the ministry. Amen. Take a seed and say, oh God, uh, this seed is for my smell to change. Put a demand on the anointing uh, that is ministering to you in this case. Uh, amen. In the name of Jesus, our final prayer point, we are praying every evil smell that came because of my sins, oh Lord, 
have mercy on me and remove it in the name of Jesus. Every evil smell that came because of my sins, oh Lord, have mercy and remove it in the name of Jesus. Every evil smell that came because of my sins, oh Lord, have mercy on me and remove it in the name of Jesus. Hold your perfect with this spirit. Every evil smell that's connected to my life because of my sins, oh Lord, remove it in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, have mercy, ask the Lord to have mercy on you, ask the Lord to have mercy on you, ask the Lord to have mercy on you today. Every evil smell that has come to you because of your sins, ask the Lord to have mercy on you this afternoon. Let the Lord change your smell, change your smell in Jesus' name of prayer. Amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to, I want to see everyone's perfume and put them in front of the camera. Amen. Put your perfume in front of your camera. Take your perfume up and I'm rounding up now. Amen. We are spending a long time, amen. Put your perfume in front of the camera, hallelujah. Glory to God as you lift up your perfume, Father. As we lift the perfumes onto you, Lord, I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. As each and every perfume has been lifted here, Father, we sanctify in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I thank you, Lord, that you have given us this token, oh God. To use to help us to change our smell. Yeah, Father, oh God, may our life uh, be removed uh, from one yeah, level to the next yeah, in you. Uh, yeah, hallelujah, yeah. Lord. Father, let our lives uh, move from yeah, bad yeah. to good, uh, from yeah, better yeah, to yeah, better, yeah. from best to extraordinary. Uh, yeah, I pray yeah. for each and every one this yeah, afternoon uh, that is yeah, under yeah. the sound of my voice, uh, yeah, that yeah. as they use this perfume, uh, yeah, Lord, it will connect them to their destiny helpers. Uh, it will connect Jesus. them to favor. It will connect them to promotion. Uh, it will connect them to blessings. Uh, it will connect them to grace. Uh, some of you, I see some of you getting your own home. Uh, I see some of you getting your own cars. Uh, I see some of you being married. Uh, I see some of you being engaged. Uh, I pray for you today uh, that as you, you as, as the Lord changes your sense, that the Lord will change your story in the name of Jesus because your back was on the ground. I pray in the name of Jesus that as you change your center, as the Lord has used this token to change your center, Lord, Father God, they will rise, they will move forward, they will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. Life will receive turn around. Their life will receive transformation. Those that look up on them will, oh God, they will come to congratulate them in the name of Jesus. I pray for each and every one of you today that as you lift your perfumes before the Lord, glory to God, that God is going to exalt you in high places, high places of influence, high places of blessings, high places of ritual in the name of Jesus. Those of you that have been having marital problems, as you utilize your perfume, your marriage will be restored. Lord, there will be blessing. There will be a reuniting of love. There will be a reuniting of peace. There will be a new spark in that relationship. The man will want to marry you over again. The woman will come and say, honey, I love you. I want in the name of Jesus. Father, as they utilize these perfumes, even as they sow, they make a demand on it, Lord Father. God, Lord, you said they will receive their blessing. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, God, that as they have their perfumes, 
perfumes uh, erected before you, God, uh, Lord, that you will use it uh, to bring great testimonies, uh, new levels, uh, new dimensions uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Uh, amen. 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 And amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Uh, now, those of you that have your perfume, amen, I want you to t- uncover the perfume like this. Are you guys seeing me? Yeah. For some reason, my screen has been frozen. I don't know what is this. It is I am. My screen just like that froze. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I have two perfume because I was already using one, so I'm blessing the two of them. I have the new one and the old one. No problem. No problem. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, I want you to know that as you uncover this perfume, you this perfume has been sanctified to change your smell. You are going to receive miracles from this. You are Amen. going to receive blessings from this step that you are making. Amen. You are going to receive your breakthrough. I am telling Amen. you, things you have testified, God is going to embarrass your enemy. The Amen. Lord he said he's going to embarrass your enemies. He's going to bring your enemies to an open shame Amen. as you remain in Someone Amen. reminded me today. He said, When you, oh, he re- reminded me, and it was so funny, you know, that it was just a reminder. He said, When you obey your prophet, you will prosper. Yeah. Uh, a prophet is in your life for yeah. you to prosper. Amen. Yeah. And if it yeah. is you do not have yeah. a prophet in your life, you are not prospering. <laughs> if it is yeah. you choose to fight against your prophet, you will go down. If it is you choose to not obey the instructions, I am sorry for you. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus that you will see blessings and breakthrough like never before. I receive healing as you use your perfume, as you use this perfume, this fragrance, your healing will come to your body immediately. Now, what I want you to do as you uncover uncover the perfumer, I want you to take it and spray into your right hand. So you hold your perfume in your left hand and you spray it into your right hand. Do three sprays. One, two, three. Amen. Spray it into your right hand. And you make sure that your hand, if if you need more sprays, no problem. Take that right hand and put it on your head. And say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. as I use this perfume, as, as it is blessing for me, for blessing, for me for blessing, I connect myself with this fragrance. Lord, remove, destroy, every single fragrance that is connected to my life. Lord, remove and destroy every single fragrance that has been placed upon my life. Now, take this same right hand and spray three more sprays again one two three and use this right hand you're using your right hand put it on your chest uh, and say oh god uh, as oh, i god. use this fragrance uh, as i use god, this fragrance to my body lord uh, as i connect it to my body in my body uh, every disease that is my body every evil smell that is connected to my body and uh, lord let it be removed let it be changed. Let it be transformed. Let there be blessing over my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord, remove every evil odor that has been associated with my life. Remove every evil odor that has been associated with my life. That has bring losses. That has brought rejection. That has brought frustration. That has brought frustration. That has brought Lack. Oh God, remove every foul smell that connects me to losses in the name of Jesus. Pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. Glory to God. Our next thing that we are going to do, what you are going to do is take a knife. 
and go under the lip of the of the connection there open the perfume this whole thing will pop out all right take a pointed knife go under the lip of the perfume don't tell me it can be done i did it already and it could be done you are taking a pointed knife thank god for those of you that can unscrew take a pointed knife those nice pretty expensive perfumes pop the top open because you want all the fragrance that is inside now what you are going to do you are going to take half bottle how much ever you however big or small your bottle is pour out half of a bottle in another spray bottle all right get it follow me half of this bottle into another spray <laughs> bottle and those of you that have your anointing oil you're going to put the anointing oil together with the half of the perfume seal it together and that will be your perfume that you will use on yourself especially when you want to do some strong prayers especially when you want answers to be brought forth for you you're going to pull out that perfume and you're going to spray it over yourself and you enter into the presence of god if you want to wear it every day that is not a problem you after the 3 a.m. prayer, you pray, you get up, uh, uh, you bathe, you change or whatever, you spray yourself for that. That will have, again, I'm repeating for those of you that didn't get me, half of the bottle of perfume and anointing oil, the oil that I've blessed for you. Those of you that don't have blessed oil, get it and call me. Amen. And I will bless the oil. Make sure you have another spray bottle and you use half. The next half, you are going to take your bath with it. You are going to take the next half and pour it out in a bucket of water. All right. Pour, pour it out in a bucket of water. And you're gonna use this, uh, you're gonna use the same bucket uh, for 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 three nights, or maybe you should just the next half you put it into three portions because you're gonna use it for three different nights to take your bath with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please. Are you, I'm giving you the instruction. The Bible says, obey the prophet and you'll prosper. Okay. I ask the Lord, I say, what to do with this, Lord? Because you have given me this instruction. That okay. is the instruction for you people of God. Amen. So those okay. of you that do not understand, please let me know. Let me explain it right now. Okay. I understand. Everybody get it, right? But I cannot like do it like I am um, now. Listen, I don't want to know who could, if you could do it, if you can't do it, you are on your own with that. I am, yes? I don't get the last part. What the bathing? You take the remaining of the perfume and okay. you put it and you use it three different nights. So you're pouring it into your bucket of water. And just like when you do your salt bath, that will be the last water on your skin. All right? Okay. Good. Yeah. Who yeah. can do it? Who ain't doing it? Who don't want to do it? That is your, you're on your own with that. All right? This is what the Lord has said to do. And this, this is why we did our three days of fasting. All right? So that you can get results in your life and your skin can be changed. Please, your mic, your mic. Whose mic is, is giving all that? Lisa, your mic. Please mute your mic, Lisa. Amen. Glory to God. So we have come to the end of our three days of prayer and fasting. If you still do not understand, listen, I will put the instructions again in the group. If you are not in the group, please send your number to me directly on the messenger and I will add you to the group so that you'll be able to receive your instruction. I pray for each and every one of you this afternoon that God continue to bless you and make his face shine upon you. And as you follow through with the instruction, you will be blessed. Those of you that are here and you wish to sow to be a blessing to the ministry, uh, Minister Rogers, uh, are you there? 
am here. Amen. Uh, can you put the student details in the chat? Yes, ma'am. Amen. Glory to God. So mm -hmm. those of you that are here and you want to sow, you want to be a blessing, please do not forget to sow. Do not forget to name your seed. Oh, Lord, change my smell. Amen. Make a demand on the anointing and you will see how God is going to turn things around for you. Amen. So Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for being with me for this long. And I know that you will testify. July is not finished. You will testify mm. in Jesus' uh, name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Glory to God. Natalie, close us off in prayer this afternoon. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we continue to give you praise, oh God. Lord. We continue to give you glory, oh God. Mm. It's a taste, yes, the word says, yes. taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, and indeed, yes, for the past three days, we have tasted and we yes, have seen Lord. that the Lord is good. So, Father, now Amen. we just thank Amen. you. Amen. We praise Amen. you. Amen. We lift yes, your name Lord. on high. We yes, adore yes. you. We yes, magnify yes. your God. We bow to your lordship and leadership tonight, God. Yes, oh, yes. God, in the name of Jesus, fill yes, our yes. tongue, oh God, with yes, praise. Yes. And yes. let, oh God, our worship be in our hearts as we go, oh God. God, in our daily activities. Father, we thank you, God. We thank you for the strength that you have placed upon us, God, to keep on with that sacrifice. And Lord, tonight we thank you, God, for the woman of God. We thank you, God, for prophetic directions. Father, may you continue to the road upon her. God, may you continue to increase her keeping yes. capacity god yes. that you would Lord, hold and that you would stand up father we pray that you make her resilient now yes. oh god in the name of jesus Lord, yes. everyone on the live everyone oh god who has participated cover yes. them yes. cover yes. their families lord we yes. thank Lord. you Thank God, you. we give you yes. praise. Thank we you, thank God. you, God, for healing what Amen. you are about to do in the lives of your people, God. Amen. We thank Lord, you for financial Amen. breakthrough. We thank Amen. you for marital Amen. release. Amen. We thank Amen. you, God, for deliverance. Thank you, God. We thank you, God, for saving our Glory loved ones, our children. Yes, we thank Lord. you this morning, Jesus. You, Jesus. And we call you Abba Father. And we say thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you for the Glory deliverance. Thank, thank you for the breakthrough. Thank, thank, thank you, God, that we are connected, oh God, to you, oh God. And we give you praise tonight, yes, Father, you, as we go to bed, as we go to sleep. God, may your spirit come and minister to our spirit, man. Oh God, and reveal yourself. Reveal yes, hidden messages and mysteries. Oh God, and we shall not abort our blessing. We shall not abort our deliverance. We shall not abort, oh God, any blessing that you will place upon us. We thank you for greater grace to pray. We pray for greater grace to pray. Give us on praying grounds in the name of Jesus. Cover us and our families, God. Father, this is the end of the three day prayer and fast, God, but it's not the end of it doing it. Father, we be again in your presence. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the testimonies. We thank you, God, for the testimonies that has gone up and those to come. Father, in the name of Jesus, who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord? See what the Lord has done. Oh God, we give you thanks and praise. Glory and honor, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you tonight. God, we give you praise, glory and honor. And as the praises go up, oh God, the blessing will come down in the name of Jesus. God, we worship you, God. We bless your name this night, oh God. Thank you for the increase. Thank you for the most Lord. Thank you, God, for the victory. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for making a way. Thank you, God. Thank you for the healing. Thank you, God. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for saving our children. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for marital bliss tonight, oh God. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray, God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, God. Of God. Thank the Lord tonight, people of God. Worship God tonight because He is sovereign. Thank you, Lord God. We bless your name. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You are worthy, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are there any announcements, any announcements that I forgot to announce? Hallelujah. Um, just a reminder of the Zoom. Anyone would like to have um like counseling? Prophet yes, we'll do counseling this. Mr. Rogers, you're mute, mic. Unmute your mic. Mr. <laughs> Rogers, Ms. Rogers, your your mic is mute. Oh my god! Oh. And she's going on, eh? <laughs> Mommy Rogers, <laughs> your mic is mute. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Yes, praise God. So, okay, Prophet has already announced it was in the group chat. Mm -hmm. So, for those that don't know, take the opportunity for this evening. Prophetess will be doing her counseling session. So, anybody after Zoom, you need counseling. Take that opportunity, call Prophetess. Be on your way, okay? Three a.m. Don't forget, guys powerful and mighty come on guys let us come and mash up hell come on let us take back our children take back our family 3 a.m yes. is powerful things happening you guys heard the testimonies join us at 3 a.m share the link tell your mama tell your papa tell your brother your sister your uncle share the link to your friends to your frenemy your enemies let them know that jesus is doing something here Amen. 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 Glory to God. I thank God for each and every one of you joining on this afternoon. I want you to know that your testimony is sure. So God has said it. Amen. And he will bring it to pass. I thank God for using me as a tool to bless Amen. you. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thank God for using me as a person to pray over your life and you see breakthrough. I thank yeah, yeah. God that as you are under my grace, as I pray for you, you will testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank God for those of you that Glory come and you sow and you give and you and you support in every which way. I thank God that as you do good to me, you will receive the prophet's reward. And what is the reward of the prophet? That as you believe the prophet, you will prosper. Amen. And Amen. I just clear over each and every one of you uh, that you receive your testimony and in July you will testify again, again. and again and again and again and again and again I receive it. Amen. Amen. I receive it. Amen. 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 I receive it in Jesus name. Amen. Yes. God bless you. Hey mommy Vera I know that you have testimony too eh? <laughs> God, yeah. Yes, I know that you have testimony. Do you want to share quickly before we go or what? I sure can. Yes, go right <laughs> ahead. Go right ahead. Good afternoon. God bless each and every one of you. I wanted to share my testimony. God bless you. I wanted to share my testimony. My daughter has, she's graduated with her master's, but she could not, <clears throat> excuse me, could not find a job. And of course, mm -hmm. I spoke with the prophetess, you know, several times concerning it. And you know how she told me she would be praying and on friday she um received a job 
Amen. And she she received glory. Praise God. She received the job that she wanted and also the salary that she asked for. They are superseding that salary that she asked for. Glory be to God. Hey, oh my God. Glory. Oh, yes. oh, 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 God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Glory be to God. And also, Prophet, on tomorrow, um, I came, but I came down because she's two hours away from me. I came down and we're going out tomorrow looking for an apartment. So please be praying and I'm leaving God for that as well. Amen. Amen. And God because, will, he will yes, perfect it, everything concerning your life Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. In Praise the God, name of and Jesus I believe Christ. God that I that I will testify in July. Yes, you will. Again, you have okay. been. You did testify, and you'll testify again and again and again and again yes, and again yes, yes, yes. in Glory Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. And thank Glory you so much. Thank you so much for you know being the the, the tool that God has been using. I Amen. greatly appreciate you. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you, amen. Mommy Vera. I appreciate you too so much. God bless you. God bless God you. Bless much you. love to each and every one of you. God bless you too. God bless <laughs> God bless you. Love you. Love you so much. Love you. Amen. So God bless you all. Have a good evening. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Love you guys. Oh, we love you. We love you more. <laughs> oh god so have a good evening everyone make sure you utilize your perfume amen do your three baths and use the next one with the olive oil the anointing oil amen and god amen. is going to perfect what is concerning you in Praise jesus name. God. Bless you. love you bye bye love you all good night good night Good night. Good night. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a winner. For whatever, back whatever. Hey, you are a winner. Come on now. You are a winner. I'm a winner. Hey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh-huh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm a winner. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Most Not here, but we enjoy the movement. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Breaking up. <laughs> You can also teach dance in class. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, 
Amen. Give God praise for his joy. Listen, God has made you a winner. And just dance like you know it. Believe it because it will come to pass. Amen. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. They like too much acting, eh? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Bye-bye. I'm gone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye